Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Narragun for a server showcase and today's video will be checking out this brand new RSPS. Now before we get into that, I do want to announce a juicy giveaway. There will be two different winners. For the first winner, we will have a weapon box, a armor box and a superior mystery box as well. And then the second winner will be getting a premium mystery box together with a mystery package. I'll be opening some of these later on in today's video so you have a general idea of what you can get from these. Anyways, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to leave a like and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community Discord, in the service Discord, and on my pinned comment. Links of Discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure you join those. Anyways, if you just created an account on the server and you are new, you can type ConConRev just like that, click on YouTuber and then type my username NoobsOwn just like that. And with that, you will get yourself a nice little additional mystery box that you can go ahead and open up for a nice little reward. So starting out with the home area, which is actually located in Remington, we got a nice little compact home area. In the bank, we will find multiple really interesting things. First of all, they have a fully working ground exchange where you can buy and sell items on here. Also, if you would just go ahead and talk to it, you can actually view the offers of other players, what they are selling for the amount that they are selling in that. Same with buying, of course. And you can also check out the history. You can view the transactions, which is really useful if you do want to know some prices. Now, right next to that, you, of course, have a banker as well. And then right here, you have the Narragun guide, which is really interesting if you want to find some more information. Also, you have a nice little trading screen right here where you can just buy some general stuff, um, including a guidebook if you are interested in that. Also, you can right click teleport. You can search for a specific teleport or you can just look through the menu right here. So they got this nice little interface. You got some training locations. You got all the skilling locations you would need. Some regular PVMing locations locations with things like Grother, Criara and so on. We also got some mini games here. A lot of mini games actually as you can see. Wilderness activities if we scroll up a little bit more. Uh, and then we got some other teleports as well. For example Dragon Slayer which is a quest. I'll showcase some more about the quest or talk a little bit more about the quest in a second as well. But for PVMing as you can see they got quite a lot of bosses that you can go to and try to kill for some really juicy rewards as well. Now right next to that you will find the collector so you can pretty much get your a collection log from this guy which is in the form of this book then you can open this up to check out the interface in here as you can see you will find multiple tabs with all of these um collection logs to fill in so you got the others you got a bunch of mini games where you can uh, as you can see collect of course all the items from those mini games you got the clues that you can go ahead and complete and then you find raids as well so you got the champions of xerix and the teeter of blood these have some really cool rewards including some custom rewards like the tectons blueprints corrosive sigil, uh, sigil and alms claw as well and then here you'll find a tab with all of the different bosses that they have on the server that you will be able to kill for some other uh, rewards that fit in the collection log. And moving on from the bank at the other side of Remington, we'll find a nice little area with all of the Slayer Masters in one house. So this is the place where you can go ahead and get yourself some Slayer tasks. Also, you can get boss assignments right here if you want to. So that's always really nice to see as well. We got Mr. X right here. If we go ahead and trade him, we will actually be able to buy ourselves some keepsake keys. These can be used for some cosmetics if you want to work on your fashion scape. So you can keepsake an item and then wear that as a cosmetic override, I believe believe anyways right next to that we got larxus right here you can actually start a fun pvp tournament for five million and then you would be able to go through this um, crucible of bloodlust portal in order to start it you also have the soul wars portal right next to it uh, which can be really interesting now right next to that we got an area or a house with a lot of chests in here we got the crystal chest elven crystal chest a brimstone chest and then an upgrade fragment chest together with the upgrade chest as well now you'll see there are two options on this upgrade chest starting off with the info as you can see you will actually be able to see all the items that can be upgraded it's of course um, chain or set up in different equipment types so for the weapons you'll find all the weapons in here then you'll find all the cold wars dungeon uh, pieces in here 
here that you'll be able to upgrade and also all the next pieces with in between that the percentage of upgrade that you will be able to get so grazi rapier would be a 50 percent upgrade into the legendary lightning rapier toxic blowpipe only 18 percent into the infernal blowpipe and if you have those items in your uh, inventory you can right click upgrade just like that unfortunately i have nothing to upgrade at this point hopefully we can get something from the mystery boxes later on and try it then but at this point i have nothing to upgrade but that's how it works which is really cool now to finish it off at the home area right next to that we have this um, little house right here with all of these shops that you can go to i'm not going to open all of these shops because of course the shops are pretty general but if you want to get some free or not free but some easy items um, especially the gear guide right here which is the interesting one to get some upgrades definitely make sure to check out the shop or this full area also for some skilling supplies now I quickly want to take some time to check out the website as well because they actually have a really clean website with a system of updates or update logs that I haven't seen before on any other server which I think is super interesting. If we actually go to updates you will see that they are working with articles instead of actual forum posts. So these articles are very nice to see because you can simply read through them. For example let's go to the latest update. As you can see this is an article posted about update number 5. They have all the information right here about what happened with the update some additional screenshot also some more explanation of how everything works what's been added and some fixes right here at the bottom as well um, they have multiple articles of course and for every single update that uh, has been posted also you have different sections for example you can go to the guides where you'll find different guides about the server as well a really interesting one could be the item combination guide so you know which items you can use on each other to create an additional item for example let's say a dragon defender with the Avernic defender hilt can be created uh, can be combined for an Avernic defender itself now you also have this engineering section right here this might be interesting for people who are a bit more into development for me personally this is not really that interesting because as you can see there is some coding information posted here some behind the scenes of how the server is actually being coded so it's interesting to see but for me personally it doesn't really have a benefit anyways let's go to the high scores because i really love these high scores they first of all look insanely clean and second of all i'm at the top and the first place of course this shouldn't be happening but because i have a youtuber account my experience is maxed out and that's why i'm on the top but anyways what's really interesting about the high scores is not only that you can just check out who's on top you'll also see this first tree but you'll see this link right next to everyone's name this pretty much can show you all the players collection log and specific stats and experience as well which in my opinion is super interesting to see so we are currently on the moderator exotics um, collection log so we can actually see which items he has unlocked and which he hasn't yet let's say for Gra uh, general grader he has already unlocked five out of the ten um, unique drops including four bandos hills right there a bandos chest plate and so on and you can see every single collection log that you can see in game for yourself but for another player for example he actually completed the collection log of puro puro which is interesting to see now as you can see from this global announcement the world boss has spawned which means we can go ahead and fight this world boss right here his name is Naragon which is also the name of the server now I don't know what the best protection is here I should actually switch to have curses on and I should also probably take some food anyways let's have a look here to the drop table so you'll get some cash um, oh and I died but anyways let's open drop table again you can get a trident of the seas draconic visage amulet of fury and some of these awesome mystery boxes also tormented bracelet all that good stuff and even party hats which I did not expect also Halloween masks so a lot of really good rewards that you'll be able to obtain from here and here we go the boss is about to die so let's see what we will get from this global boss that we just killed anyways we got ourselves um, nothing too special but I see some people got themselves something really juicy as well. Anyways, we got ourselves some overloads and a gold charm. Unfortunately, nothing too special as I just said. But you can always get some really cool loots from here. So another global boss that they have on the server is Lucian. Once again, you can just type Kong Kong World Boss just like that to teleport to Lucian. And then we will be able to go ahead and fight him. We got a nice little area right here which looks pretty cool. I haven't actually seen the zone yet. So it's really interesting to see those unique 
to locations. Anyways, Lucian has 6000 HP, which is a bit more than the previous one. But anyways, let's have a look at the drop table. So you'll always get upgrade fragment keys. So that's already a nice um, thing to see that you will always get these. And then you, of course, get a bunch of or have a chance at a bunch of these mystery boxes, including a donated ticket right here, which is common one in eight drop, uh, drop rate. Not too bad at all. Also, you can get 100 million cash just like that. Some chaotic weapons, some god swords, a blow pipe as well you can even get an almighty god sword here which is one of the rare rewards also wing of that looters amulet and skilling amulet black and white party hat and also lucians and power gem as rare drops so hopefully we can snipe one of those i'm not expecting it of course but i'll be back at the end of this kill here we go we just got the kill um and apparently the loot actually went into my inventory because i got myself um yeah no idea why it went into my inventory actually but i did get myself an aura mystery box so let's go ahead and open this up let's have a look here it's rolling between those five auras and i got myself um the odd ball continue to claim your reward i don't know how good that is but we just got it anyways so as I mentioned earlier, the server has a lot of really cool bosses from God Wars Dungeon bosses, General Grader, Kriara, Krill, Commander Ziliana, all the way up to Nex. On top of that, you can find bosses from old school RS as well, like the Nightmare, you'll find the Chambers of Xerix, the Teeter of Blood, Zulcano, and many other bosses on the server as well that you will be able to complete. And now with the latest update, all of these bosses will actually be able to drop something very unique. And that is a boss token. Now, depending on the drop rate, you would have to check out um, the forum topic for that. Depending on the drop rate, you need a certain amount of these tokens um, to actually be able to create one of the boxes. So as you can see in my inventory right now, I got myself 10 nightmare tokens and you only need six in order to create a nightmare box. And then you'll be able to open up these boxes for a guaranteed rare reward of the drop table from that boss. So for the nightmare box, let's go ahead and open it and we get ourselves a nice little volatile orb we could have gotten a um, other orb i forgot the name of this one and also did just as here play the body right there anyways let's try the same with next let's see what we will be able to get from next and we are going to get ourselves a pernix chaps right there for the first one we got another box as well and we get ourselves a pernix cowl for armadillo we get ourselves an armadillo chest plate and to finish it off an armadillo hilt as well so that's really unique to see. You will always get a guaranteed token if you get the final hit on the kill. So anyways, we also got the upgrade chest that I can now try out. So as you can see, a Pernix Cowl into an Ultimate Pernix Cowl will cost you 50 million to upgrade. If you fail to upgrade this item, it will be destroyed as well. Unfortunately, I don't have 50 mil at this point, so I'm not able to do this. So let's see if I can actually just go ahead and upgrade the... Um, Armadillo chest plate right there. I believe that should be a little bit less. So 20 mil for this one. And let's see, can we go ahead and upgrade it? Actually, I need it in my inventory. So let's withdraw 20 mil just like that real quick. And let's go ahead and um, upgrade it now, please. Yes, thank you. One second. So we got the 20 mil cash. Let's see if we can upgrade this. Upgrading and are we going to get something back? Unfortunately, we failed, but we did get upgrade fragments, which is interesting. You need 1.5 million upgrade fragments to create an upgrade gem. And I believe the upgrade gem will give you a guaranteed upgrade. Now you don't have to worry because I got all the upgraded items in my bank right here from the ultimate Pernix all the way to the ultimate Torva which I have equipped already and also the ultimate Virtus right here with the Lucian staff we got the legendary lightning rapier Versix blood side a twisted bow and also the infernal blowpipe right there as well. Some really cool items if we go ahead and just withdraw them real quick so we can do a little showcase. So this is of course the ultimate Torva that, I, uh, that I've had on for the entire video so far. If we switch that to the ultimate Pernix, this also looks really good together with the blowpipe as well. So yeah, really nice if you can get those upgraded armors. Now you also have a completion escape that you can go for. Unfortunately, I don't have the requirements yet, but if you type con con comp cave just like that, you will open up this nice little interface with all the requirements that you will have to complete in order to be able to equip this cave. And as you can see, there are 41 tasks in total to actually go ahead and finish off this completion escape. 41 requirements, so that's a long grind, but having a good grind on an RSPS is really fun in my opinion. So this is something that I would personally go for, as you have seen, 
from my progress series on any server I've ever played. Now last up I want to take you guys to uh, the donator zone as well as the VIP zone as you can see you'll find them under the teleport category right here. Now the donator zone as you can see is a nice little zone we got crown right there right next to a bank chest and uh, we also got ourselves a nice little rejuvenation pool right here some stalls for thieving and other ground exchange clerk as well as a prayer altar a altar of the occult where you can switch your spell book and also the prayer uh, altar of zaros i believe this is to change your prayer book as you can see right there so yes replace it with curses please um, you also got the money crate right there which is for thieving now anyways if we move on to the building we got the upgrade chest right here as well some um, dummies that you will be able to attack and then we got the Narragon guide once again to teleport around the server as well as some additional nice shops in here um, that you will be able to trade to get yourself some more supplies if you want to or some more um, equipment sets you also got the s bot right here to tan your leather and then the sawmill operator as well anyways moving on from that let's go to the vip zone also as you can see donator zone gives you three percent bonus experience and the vip zone will give you ten percent bonus experience you have the portal right here in the middle which will just open up the teleport interface then around here you'll find yourself once again some of the altars you will find another ground exchange another ornate rejuvenation pool and then some skilling stuff as well if we go for example also you have the spirit tree which i didn't even notice yet what is the spirit tree going to do you have a teleport menu here that you will be able to use with the spirit tree um, so where do you want to go and you can then select all of these but anyways let's go back to the vip zone because there was a nice little skilling area that i saw as well if you want to gain some experience with a 10 percent experience boost which is definitely a really nice boost if you go to this area as you can see you'll find all of these rocks for mining that you'll be able to mine um, and get some really easy experience also there are some slayer npcs scattered around this area that you will be able to uh, to defeat if you get yourself a nice little slayer task some fishing and all that good stuff so you'll pretty much be able to train every single skill on here there you have all the logs for wood cutting and then if you move on you got like the blood altar for rune crafting and so on and some more thieving stalls so this is a really nice area also this dark portal right here which i actually have no idea that what it would take you to but vip altar plus thieving farming and rune span so this will take you around the area i believe for those specific skills so in the rune span area as you can see you will be able to siphon all of these for some easy afk rune crafting experience now as you can see I also got all of these scrolls in my inventory right here. You will actually be able to obtain those in games, those um, cash scrolls. And then once you get those, as you can see, you will be able to spend that value at a column column store. Um, and you'll be able to buy some items on there with all the money that you got from here. You'll be able to obtain those from staff hosted events for example. Um, and then once again as I mentioned you can go to the web store. And then you would be able to claim some rewards from there with the value that you got from those um, cash scrolls also you got those two scrolls which you can get from the vote shop at the home area the double drop rate scroll so this will increase your drop rate for one hour and then you also have the double drop chance scroll this will have a chance to double your rare drops for one hour as well and you'll see a nice little timer right here above your chat box and then to finish off the video, I'm going to open some of these mystery packages. For example, right here, Pernix Chaps and Guardian Boots from one. Also some Blood Money. I don't know if that was a really lucky chest because I got two ready watch, but it apparently seems so as well because the other ones aren't as lucky. I'm still getting a nice amount of cash from these as well, but no more ready watch besides the Pernix Chaps right there and the Guardian Boots. Anyways, I got some armor boxes as well. I'm going to quick open those to see if we can get anything lucky. We got some Glaven Boots. Armor will change good and a spectral spirit shield right there then from the superior mystery box let's see we get an ags from that and um, then we get some more um, auras from it as well let's see if we can get anything special not really that much premium we get a looters amulet from the first one that we open arcane sigil from the second one and then we get some money boxes as well which i believe will give you some cash so hopefully these will straight go into my money pouch um i believe they don't or they went to my bank or something anyways i got to clear out some space because i got some additional mystery boxes that i would like to open up as well so let's go ahead and bank all of this real quick and then move on to the additional mystery boxes to open up 
now these mystery boxes are giving me some really good loot so let's keep the look going superior mystery box annihilation right there as well premium mystery box for chaotic longsword and also a bonus experience scroll once again this will work the same as the previous scrolls that i showcased and this will put an additional timer right there got some weapon box so let's see we get ourselves back to back bludgeons a dark bow heavy ballista and dragon defender nothing too special there and then some mini game boxes as well these will give you some rewards i don't know how good these are but let's have a look here if we preview maybe we can see all the rewards so yes you can get battle mage trickster and vanguard armor from here which are the good rewards that you will be able to get from those boxes anyways with all that being said this is where i will be ending off today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to enter the giveaway and definitely make sure to check out narragon for yourself because there is so much content on the server that i am not able to showcase everything in one single video it's definitely an amazing server especially for just being a new rsps on the market i would definitely recommend checking it out for yourself but anyways with all that said i'll be catching you guys in my next video so take care and peace